All right, it's a tale of two parties, socialist Democrats surging amongst their party ranks, hoping to lead moderate Democrats into the midterms. So which side has the edge to be the face of the Democratic Party, the socialists or the moderates? Joining me now to debate this, two Democrats, former Bernie Sanders surrogate Chuck Rocha and Democratic strategist Antoine Seawright. Guys, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Antoine, thanks. I want to start with you. Which of these two sides of the Democratic Party do you think has the best shot at winning and flipping some of these seats in November? Well, let me be clear. I'm one of the very few people, I guess, who believe that uh, we should not put titles behind or in front of our names that we're all just Democrats. Uh, we hmm. have our party is very big. We have a very big tent. Um, that can hold everyone. And in the words of Rob Bates, it takes two to make the thing go right. And so I believe that Democrats know who we are. The question we will have to answer going into the midterms is who we will, uh, who we will be and what direction we will go. And I'm confident, if you look at last night, what happened in Ohio, if you look at Connor Lamb, and I'm confident that our party is big enough where we can win races in New York, Massachusetts, and in yeah. places like Ohio and Pennsylvania. Chuck, over to you. I know it really, in these races, it depends on the district that you're talking about. But as a general consensus, which way are you more comfortable with this party going? Further to the left or more moderate? Look, you know me, Rob. I'm a Mexican redneck from East Texas, but I'm very liberal, but I ain't one of them puny liberals. I'm one of them that'll stomp a mud hole in your backside if you get too close to me. And that's what shows Antoine's point, which is that we are a big tent and we have a big party, and I'm a Bernie Sandro liberal sitting here in a cowboy hat. But what Antoine said is exactly right. But as you look at the grassroots and what's happening across the country on the ground, it's the base of the party, the left of the party, that are making up the difference in these elections. And if you run an old white guy running as a moderate Democrat against a white guy who's a Republican, the Republicans are going to win every time, so it's hard to have the leadership if you're going to lose an election. Well, and, and right there on the screen, we see, we see identity politics right there at the bottom of the screen. It, it shouldn't really matter what color or gender a politician is. It should matter what they're going to do, right, Antoine? Well... Well, well, Rob, let me say this. If you look at what Chuck is wearing, if you look at Chuck and his background, if you look at me, that shows the diversity of our party. And let me just be very clear. It will take progressive. It will take moderates. It will take blacks. It will take whites. It's going to take everyone in the Democratic Party for us to win races up and down the ballot. And but the fact of the matter is the American, okay. the people are depending upon us to restore trust and dignity in our democracy because the Republicans have driving the, driving yeah. the car off the cliff. Uh, Chuck, let me let me bring this to your attention. I mean, you know, last night we it wasn't a good night for the socialists. All of the Cortez, Ocasio Cortez uh, people were were, were kind of got whooped last night in a lot of ways. Uh, and then on the other side of it, you see guys like Connor Lamb in Pennsylvania, who we just talked about. Uh, the moderate there did something amazing a few months ago. Danny O'Connor in Ohio somehow in a very red district nearly beat the Republican. Uh, isn't that? A case in point for moderate Democratic strategy in November, that is the way to win. Uh, most of the country is not socialist. Well, Rob, I don't, uh, a socialist tag, I'd say if you like Social Security and you like Medicare, then you might be a socialist. Look it up. I would also like to say that you've made the point, Rob, yourself earlier. It's district by district, and Antoine right. actually made this point is that when you run in a district that's really red, there are 61 districts across America that have a better performance than that district last night. We only need 23 seats to pick up the House, and we come within one point. The story tells itself is that it's going to be a really great year for Democrats, whether you're running as a socialist Democrat, as a conservative, whatever. If Democrats win, then we can have our own fight within our own family on who leads us and let the best man or woman win. But you're very, you're just very divided right now, and that, I just, I think that could no, be no. Rob, 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 Rob. The only people who are trying to divide us are the Republicans who are scared to death about what's going to happen in November. Again, we know who we are. The question will be where we're going. The fact of the matter is Republicans have the biggest okay. liability they've had in a very long time. Right. That's Donald Trump and his failed policies going into November. Half your party's running away from Pelosi. We got to go, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time.